Praise the Lord. Well, sing with all your might. Amen? Praise the Lord. Where, uh, where the Spirit of God is, there is, there is freedom, right? Also, where the Spirit of God is, there is, there is, uh, there is all things are possible. Amen? When we come into His presence, all things are possible. You're pretty quiet today. The Christmas break really wore you down, did it? Well, now you're going to be picked up. <laughs> Amen. There you go. Praise God. All things are possible. Lord, we love to shout your name. We love to shout your name. 
Um, the name he uses here is the, the name Yahweh, which is the old uh, Hebrew name for, G, for God. Um, it was an, actually an adaptation because they wouldn't even say it. <laughs> they, wouldn't even, they thought it was so holy that they wouldn't even say it. And they spelled it Y-H-W-H, and then it ended up being pronounced Yahweh. And, uh, and I love the fact that, that the songwriter goes back to to that that old uh, way of, of saying the name of God. We love to shout your name, Lord, un, unto you, Lord. Your name is strength to us. Your name is power to us. Your name is your name is restoration to us. And uh, I love the way this song speaks of this. At your name.
I began to serve the Lord at, um, at a young age. And I can look back on all that he has done in my life. And I, and I tend to mark the, um, the years, one of the ways, one of the ways that I mark the years and the milestones in my life is, is what God did in this, at this point in my life. And uh, in, in serving him, I, would, I wouldn't change a day of it except that I would have served him better. <laughs> except that I would have done more. I wouldn't go back for anything. But uh, serving Jesus has just been the most incredible thing. And, and over the years, having grown up uh, as a pastor's kid, I saw such marvelous things that he did. Such incredible things. He's taken lives that were just so messed up. At times, my life was messed up. <laughs> but he's taken, he's taken lives that were so messed up, and he has just changed them so dramatically by his mighty power. And, you know, the people of Israel, back, way back in the Old Testament, they would, they would stop and they would put up markers or what they call standing stones. Or, and they would remember what God has done in that place. And then, then whenever they passed by that place again, there would there'd be a permanent marker. This, God did something in this place. And they would name that place according to what God did. So that everybody that would walk by there would know God did something powerful in that place. So it's the same thing in our lives. The milestones that we reach in our lives, God has, God has brought us through and done incredible things. And the Son says, we will remember.
Side the boat, and he began to walk on the water. And scripture says, when he saw the wind, he became fearful. When he when he saw the elements, when he saw, okay, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> when he saw that that the elements around him were dictating that this that that he was going to be overcome, that he was going to be swallowed up by the water, then his his faith waned, and he began to sink. Jesus reached out his hand and brought him up the rest of the way. There's such an important lesson into that. In, in that. You know, Jesus calls us. He calls us out uh, into, into places where he is going to sustain us. And we can't look at the circumstances that are around us. We can't look at the wind. We can't be caught up in the fact that what he's called us to do is not is not really practical or is not really what man would call possible. We say all things are possible as either we believe that or not. When he calls us, when he calls us, he's going to, to give us what we need to do what he's called us to do. So this, this song says, Lord, call me out into that place where I have to depend upon your spirit and let the spirit of God lead me. Amen? Boy, if we start going there... We're gonna we're gonna be going places that we never dreamed we would. God is, God will take us places we never dreamed he would. Oh, 
in the name of Jesus today. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, that we can trust you with everything. You have everything under control. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that if there's someone who's come into this place that needs to trust in you, I pray in the name of Jesus, they would find the same refuge, the same peace in, the, in, in Jesus Christ that we have. Lord, in the name of Jesus, if there's someone who has been trusting you, but have found that they've, they've been looking at the wind, and, and they've been seeing the, the, the elements and fearing, I pray in the name of Jesus that you're, the faith that comes as the Holy Spirit grants it to us, Lord, would just flood their lives, that they would learn to trust you again. They would learn to trust you more, because you, Lord, you, Lord, are the master of the waves. You are the master of everything. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now, I want you to, to turn and shake hands and welcome somebody. Or if you're not comfortable shaking hands, just bump or wave or, or something. Just welcome somebody to the house of the Lord.